and join me tonight in honoring Wayne Warren Don with the 2011 EcoTrust Indigenous Leadership Award.
grandfather served in the Alaska Territorial Guard, as well as a couple of my uncles. So I think that when you think about the fact that these men served uh, a country that they were not yet a, a citizens of, uh, really kind of speaks to the character of our people about service and recognition that uh, you serve something greater than yourself. And as it turns out, Jack Williams was one of those boys who volunteered to serve. And for a lot of years, it went unrecognized. But over the last uh, 10 or 15 years, our, our government has come to recognize our territorial guard. And Jack eventually went on to serve 24 years in the last Army National Guard and retired at the last National Guard. So Jack understood the meaning of service. And the other person that I draw inspiration from is my son, Dan, uh, who at the age of 13, uh, witnessed something that most boys his age probably shouldn't see. It was an August day where he was with his, uh, my wife and his two sisters. And they were driving down a, a highway and two cars in front, um, a horrific accident. So it brought traffic to a standstill. And before uh, my wife Alicia could utter a word, my son was out of the car. And um, while in this digital age, uh, the majority of the people along the highway stopped to take pictures, uh, my son jumped into action and uh, with two other men uh, extricated a, a, a person who eventually died. But my son understand, understands um, what it means to serve something greater than yourself. Uh, and the maturity he displayed as a 13-year-old boy in that circumstance uh, is an inspiration to me. Um, so I draw inspiration from that. And lastly, um, I guess before I close, I, I want to recognize my, my daughter, who's uh, unfortunately had a, uh, or fortunately, I guess for her, she qualified for the uh, state swimming meet this week, so my wife is there with her. Uh, and uh, it seems to be a uh, consistent thing. The last time I uh, was, had cause to be in an event like this, I was in Afghanistan, so they attended for me. So I want to make sure that I recognize my daughter uh, for her efforts. The last thing I want to close with um, something uh, that I'd like to share with you that I try to live my life by uh, in, in recognition of service and uh, understanding and purpose greater than yourself. Um, so live your life that the fear of death can never enter your heart. Trouble no one about the, their religion. Respect others in their view and demand that they respect yours. Love your life, perfect your life, beautify, beautify all things in your life. Seek to make your life long and its purpose in the service of your people. Prepare a noble death song for the day when you go over the great divide. Always give word or sign of salute when meeting a friend, even a stranger, in a lonely place. Show respect to all people and bow to none. When you rise in the morning, give thanks for the food and the joy of living. If you see no other, no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies only in yourself. Abuse no one and no thing, for abuse turns the wise ones to fools and robs the spirit of its vision. When it comes your time to die, be not like those whose hearts are filled with the fear of death, so that when their time comes, they weep and pray for a little more time to live their lives over again in a different way. Sing your death song and die like a hero going home. Chief to come to the Shawnee Nation. This was shared with me by uh, a dear friend of mine who um, discovered this, but uh, and shared it with me, and it's uh, it's really meant a lot. I just, this is uh, our heartfelt words from a particular person who understood what it meant to serve and serve something greater than yourself during uh, colonization and encroachment on tribal rights. But I think uh, when you read that, it has certainly some um, meaning for, for a couple of different things, but it's filled my life in terms of um, what it means to serve. So with that, I again um, want to thank uh, EcoTrust for allowing me to be here and uh, having the privilege of uh, being associated with uh, such fine people as uh, Chief Adam Dick, Dolores Pigsley, Chuck Sams, and Nora. So 
I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Thank you very much.